Will yes. the Ime Odoka suspension keep the Celtics from reaching the finals again? I believe it may. Um, I just think that he's that much of an exceptional coach. I would like to remind people, Brad Stevens was one hell of a coach before he was ascended to president of basketball operations for the Boston Celtics. And what he couldn't do in like seven years or so, Ime Udoka did in his first year. Took him to the finals with Jalen Brown, with Jason Tatum, with Marcus Smart. And now you got Malcolm Brogdon as well. So I can't summarily dismiss the Boston Celtics. They are the reigning Eastern Conference champions. And with Missoula there, we'll see what he does. But I believe that Ime Udoka is that special of a coach that it won't happen. And I'm even going a step further there. You want me to tell y'all some news? I didn't say this anywhere else, but I'm going to say it now. I said on my podcast, no mercy. I'm going to say it again. I believe part of the reason he was suspended but not fired is because the Boston Celtics did not want him to end up in Brooklyn. I believe that Ime Udoka, had he gotten fired with all the stuff that happened, remember, the operative words were consensual relationship, violation of organizational policy. So because it's that, it's about your behavior, which we don't endorse, as opposed to a crime. And because there was nothing that was put out there that said it was a crime, I believe that if Ime Udoka had been fired by the Boston Celtics, the Brooklyn Nets would have fired Steve Nash and brought that brother back, and he would be the coach for the Brooklyn Nets right now. That's how emphatic I feel about that. I have that's not, no source material, no inside information. That's just my personal opinion. KD wanting to be traded. KD asking out of his deal. Wanting Steve Nash, allegedly, supposedly, reportedly, wanting Steve Nash. And, 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 and obviously, I'm sorry, the GM. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I got, I got Marks. like that. Marks, John Marks. I talk to him all the time. I don't know why. Here's the deal. I forgot his name. The point is, those guys, wanting them gone. I believe if Ime Udoka, who was an assistant before he got the Boston Celtics job, he was an assistant in Brooklyn. Had he gotten fired, he would have been coaching in Brooklyn. And if that brother was coaching KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons, Lord have mercy. You think the Celtics didn't fire him because they were afraid of that? I think they were afraid of that. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. All right. I don't oh, think the Celtics care. I just, I, just, I just believe that. You may or may not be right about that. We'll probably, it's just a belief. We'll probably just never a belief. know. But, but look, another reason could be because of what he did as a head coach in Boston a year ago, and this team is on the precipice of winning a championship, and okay. a lot of it is because of what you said about Ime Udoga. I'm one of those guys, when an organization makes a new hire, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt, even if a dude has never been a head coach before. And I want to see it for myself. And I say, give me a couple of months. I want to see the impact, defensive preparation, in-game adjustments, late-game calls, your, just your personality, demeanor, the way it connects your roster. I'll give anybody a couple months. What I saw in Ime Udoka was this is a guy that's a difference maker as a coach, and there aren't a lot of those in the NBA, in my opinion. He is definitely one. So the question is, will this derail their title hopes this season? I, you said it may. I'll take it a step further. I think it will. No, I think it will. They can't win it. I don't think they can win a championship if Ime Udoka is not coaching this year. And here, here's, a big, wow. here's a big reason why. It's going to be hanging over the organization the entire season. You have a guy now that's basically an interim coach, and, and you know, we don't know exactly what he's going to look like as a head coach, Missoula, but give him the benefit of the doubt. The bottom line is this. He is going to try to replicate what Ime Udoka was. He'd be a fool not to. He's not going to come in and say, okay, I'm going to put my stamp all over this thing. No, he's just going to try to be basically another version of what Udoka was last year. Problem is, he's not him. And you're going to have to navigate so many difficult situations in an Eastern Conference that has some teams at the top that are ready to get to the finals. You know, the Bucs, I think, that's who I'm picking to get to the NBA Finals. You obviously still have the heat there. The Sixers think they can win a championship this year with the emergence of Maxi and their offseason moves. There's just too many obstacles if you don't have your head coach. And the guy that built the framework for what that team looked like a year ago, I just don't see how you overcome that for an entire season and then three very tough rounds in the Eastern Conference playoffs. They're definitely going to have a tough time making the finals, but I think it's more about the second point they made rather than the first, and that's the competition in the Eastern Conference and even when they make the finals because they'll have to play the Warriors more than likely. The coaching situation will definitely play a role, especially earlier in the year when they have to figure out how to play without their head coach. 
But just like last year, it'll take some time, they'll figure it out, and they'll get back to that elite level. Especially on defense, they still have the length, they still have the athleticism, and on offense, it's just about finding a rhythm. The only problem is, it took a little bit of luck with Chris Middleton getting hurt for them to even make it there. So with how good this Eastern Conference is, I don't think they'll have the same luck. They'll still make a deep playoff run, and they'll be a great team, but they just won't make the finals this year. And that'll be because of Milwaukee, Miami, Brooklyn. This team has faced adversity before. They've had chemistry issues with Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and they've always found a way to get it done. And I don't think it will be any different with the coach. This will be an elite team, a top seed in the East. It's just very tough to make the finals, and I don't think they will this year. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Will the Boston Celtics be able to make the finals or win the championship this year? And leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.